Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over range day etiquette. Unfortunately, at public ranges, we've all experienced these types of people. Don't be this person. Starting with number one. Nothing pisses you off more than when you're trying to sight in your rifle and you got Billy Bob coming up next to you just inside a mag dump, a freaking 300 blackout or 50 BMG right next to your face just going, go, 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 go. Yeah, that makes you look really stupid. Number two, mind your muzzle, also known as don't break your 180. If you really suck at geometry, in other words, don't aim your firearm at something that you're not willing to destroy. Hey Carl, how's it going, man? How's your wife? How are your kids? Are your kids great? Do they love having a father? That's great. I'm so glad. How's your dog? Is your dog doing great? That's so great, man. I'm so happy for you. That's freaking wonderful. That's awesome. I'm so happy for everybody here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Number three, keep all bolts and pistol slides locked back. Nothing drives us more crazy than just throwing down a rifle or a pistol down on the tables and we have no idea if it's loaded or not. Oh, Glock 34. Dude, I love this gun. I hear the trigger is freaking fantastic. Walter, but not, there's not even a mag in the Glock. I guess I'm just a freaking idiot and decided to just pull the trigger without checking if there was a round in there. Uh, uh, uh. Number four, don't go walking around underneath everybody picking up their spent casings and their brass off the ground, like a poor person. Simply ask for their casings if you really want to reload it before you make it weird. Ooh. Ah, yes, fine specimen. Excuse me, I'm just gonna get your spent casings over here. I don't think you need these, do ya? I know when I'm doing content, I'm constantly messing around. I'm never serious, whether it comes to shooting guns at the range or playing video games. However, when it comes to my training, I do take it very seriously, and I do that with Mantis. One of my favorite products to use is the Laser Academy. It's a cool little cartridge, it has a laser in it. All you do is pop it in your pistol and you can dry fire from home. You can see where your hits are. It syncs up to an app on your phone, so it also gives you feedback on how fast your draw is, where you're shooting, your proficiency, your accuracy, and it saves a crap ton of time and ammo so you don't have to keep going to the range. There's also multiple targets too, so you have friends over, y'all can go head to head. I've done it a few times with Michelle. Um, we had a freaking blast, it was a lot of fun. Um, so you're also still being able to have fun and do dry firing, which those two things usually don't go hand in hand, so it makes it a little less miserable to dry fire and a lot more fun. I can't wait to continue to use the Laser Academy so I can get better at shooting so I can finally beat Michelle Viscusi. <laughs> I probably still won't. You guys should totally check out uh, Mantis below and click on the link. Anyway, check out Mantis, it's a lot of fun, um, especially when you win. <laughs> Number five, don't give advice that's unwanted. You're not always the best shooter and your advice might actually suck and make someone shoot shittier. Hey man, listen, I see you're missing your targets. I just wanna help you out a little bit. Um, in my experience, I've been shooting for like six months so I know so much about this dude. Um, my preference is to shoot it like we call it the teacup grip. You know, you just do like this and just it gives you just like way better, uh, you know, recoil control, I feel like personally. And, you know, I kind of miss my target too, but I, I feel like it's going to help you out, man, uh, for, from someone who knows what they're talking about. You're welcome. It's one thing to call someone out on their lack of safety, but it's another thing to give advice that's unwanted. Number six, don't be that guy that's, oh, what gun is that? Can I shoot that? Can I give it a try? Is it my turn? Our mother isn't here to force us to share. We're not going to share with you, ever. That's a, a mighty cool looking gun you got there. That looks like they're being hog. It's a really cool gun, man. It's really cool. 
Hey, uh, do you mind if I, can I uh, shoot that? My son would be so freaking excited. If I shot that, you going to get me a mag? <sighs> tisk, tisk. Number seven, if you're not experienced with the type of firearm you're using, such as a 50 AE Desert Eagle, don't put everyone's life in danger because you don't know how to handle the recoil. I've never shot before. I have no idea what kind of ammo this is. So, oh! Woo! Okay. I'm good. I should probably go get my gun. <laughs> <laughs> Time to invest in a private range. And last but not least, number eight. Making sure everyone at the range knows that you're a better shoe than everyone else. You see that? That was dead center. <laughs> I'd smoke every single one of these people on this range, huh? <laughs> Watch this follow-up shot though. Right on top of each other. Right on top of each other! Oh! That was a perfect three group. Man, I need to be sponsored. <sighs> what, can, what can I say, man? I'm a natural. <laughs> I'll let, you know what? I'll, I'll let y'all have the range. I'm, I can't get any better. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and let y'all work on it. <laughs> oh man. If you hit your targets every time, nobody cares. Keep it to yourself. You just look like an arrogant asshole. Everyone's at the range to learn. And that's a wrap for this video. I hope y'all learned a valuable lesson today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see y'all next time. Also, leave a comment below on what is the most annoying thing you've experienced at the range. today's video, we're going to be go- <laughs> Unfortunately, at public range days, no. But to call someone else, no. How would I phrase that? It pisses you off more than when you're trying to- Don't give advice that's not piss, number five. <laughs> Did I say number four? Damn. I don't even know what I was saying to you. <laughs> Before I end this video, I just wanted to throw this little bit in there. I know I haven't streamed in like a month. My computer died. So um, MetaPCs is sending me another one and that doesn't get delivered until tomorrow. So hopefully um, tomorrow and Tuesday, I'm gonna be able to set up my stream and get everything ready to start streaming again on Twitch. Um, we stream every single night at 9 p.m. Eastern except for Mondays and Tuesdays. Uh, those are my days off. And yeah, I miss y'all so much on that platform and hopefully we'll have everything ready for this week. Um, and I'll see you this week on Twitch. See you there.